This is the Turf Zone Podcast, your central information and news hub, bringing together professionals from turf associations across multiple states to share things to help you and your business. Brought to you in partnership with our friends at the Virginia Turf Grass Council. This episode is sponsored in part by By Sod. World class service on demand. Visit us online at www.bysod.com. Now, let's get in the zone. Welcome to the Turf Zone. In this episode of Virginia Turfgrass, we feature an article titled Meet Anita Tuttle, Urban Nutrient Management Coordinator at the Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation. The Urban Nutrient Management Coordinator at the Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation is part of a team that provides technical assistance to landowners, state agencies, local governments, and certified planners in managing their strategies for fertilizer and other nutrient source application to achieve healthy landscapes while protecting state waters, develops and presents outreach programs and materials for turf grass and landscape professionals in diverse sectors ranging from golf courses, athletic fields, as well as other public and private green spaces, prepares training tools and helps conduct classes for individuals seeking to become certified nutrient management planners, reviews and approves nutrient management plans. Anita's educational background is in horticulture at Virginia Tech. She has worked at production nurseries in public gardens as a hort specialist for intellectually and physically challenged adults and as an adjunct instructor at Germana Community College. I was first employed by DCR as a part-time interpreter at Caledon State Park in King George County, and later loved my time as the chief ranger there, Anita says. Among other things, I was involved with invasive species management and establishing native garden areas. From that position, she moved to the Division of Soil and Water Conservation, where she helped develop the nutrient management program for state lands in response to 2007 legislation from the General Assembly. This was the beginning of the Urban Nutrient Management Program. Anita has spent the last 12 years at the Department of Environmental Quality as a biosolids permit writer. Now, Anita says, I'm delighted to rejoin the nutrient management team at DCR. Anita's unusual claim to Virginia fame comes courtesy of holding a rather surprising role early in her career. While working as an electronics technician at Dominion's Bath County Pump Storage Station, I lived in Goshen, Virginia. Through a series of unlikely events, I was appointed as the town's mayor, the first woman to hold the position in 1985 when I was 28 years old. The 1935 municipal water system had been cited often by the Virginia Department of Health. The town and its people came together in applying for a federal community development block grant with huge assistance from the Central Shenandoah Planning District Commission. In order to qualify for the grant, Goshen needed to bring its entire water system within town boundaries. The Rock Ridge County Board of Supervisors was most helpful in the process of allowing Goshen to expand the boundaries. This quadrupled Goshen's land area and tripled the population. The grant was awarded on Anita's first application, and Goshen's water system was brought into compliance. I won the next election, but was unable to fulfill the entire term due to my course workload at Virginia Tech, Anita shared. That was my only foray into politics, a term well served indeed. VTC welcomes Anita and looks forward to her continued contribution to the industry and the environment. Don't miss an episode of Virginia Turfgrass. Subscribe at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at theturfzone.com. You've been listening to The Turf Zone. Thank you to our sponsors, including By Sod, world-class service on demand. Visit us online at www.bysod.com. For more episodes of The Turf Zone, visit theturfzone.com and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, 
Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app.